Hi, Your Highness. Welcome to Nebulous Grows Cannabis. Hi, Nebulous. Thank you for stopping by. It's my fifth video journal, my fifth video installment. It's a video vlog, and it's about a medical marijuana patient who is not a professional, first time grower, and I'm learning as I grow. All right, now we're going to discover some things what I'm doing in my garden, and hopefully you can learn from it and point out some mistakes that I may be making. Now we're going to pH our water and feed our plant today. I've seen some deficiencies. I don't know what to do, but hopefully we can get through this together. Let's enjoy the show. We are here, day 11 of flower. See how uneven she is? Now you may say, what well, then? She's low right here, she's high right here. Then she goes low in the back and she goes high again. I just alternated these lights. They were all going this way. Now I got them going in a T form. Um, and I laid the trellis down by pulling it down. So this way this can get more light. I laid this branch down. We're gonna watch this branch for the next couple of weeks. We're gonna watch this right here. And I want all of this to pop out if it can. We'll keep an eye on it, you know, and um, this is gonna curl up and hopefully that can all get the light. As you can see here, you know, if you let it get all the light, it will shoot up. Day 13 of flower, cherry pie. See, we're gonna push stuff out the way to see what's going on there. Hmm, looking pretty nice. Check on this side. I know it got a little yellowing over here, as we see down here early in the video. When I came down here this morning, I see some yellowing, man. This is like tripping me out. Something is wrong in the garden, all right? Yellowing comes from nitrogen deficiency. As I'm growing and I'm reading and learning and watching you guys, it's usually nitrogen deficiency. Now, I heard some, some say it could be light, but it's most likely nitrogen deficiency. Because usually, when your plants start to flower, it needs more nitrogen as it grows and stretches, am I right? Let's go, feed the plant, give it the proper pH water, and let's give it the proper feeding as the chart will display. Let's go. So, here are the things you're gonna need. pH tester, you're gonna need a TDS tester. Anybody who makes nutrients, they're gonna give you a feeding chart. You know, you need to know how much to put into it, okay? How many milliliters you need to put into your, your water here? My advice to you is, if you're gonna make your nutrients in bottles with tea and stuff on it, please take the label off because you might mistake it for tea, because it looks like tea, all right? And we don't want children to pick it up and drink it, all right? So let's get down to measuring our pH level. Stick it up in here. And our water is sitting at 8.1. And this is just from the tub. 8.1, hold on, I'm gonna like over here. So, we're at 8.2, which is good alkaline water for drinking, but not for the plants, all right? So we need to bring the pH level down. I usually like to do this. Take enough in there where this is just, you know, right there and a little bit up there. Just give it, it's 8.2, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I put about 10 drops in there, all right? Now, we're gonna shake this up. Get wet. We're gonna check the pH level of the water now. It's 8.4, now it is 7.7. .7. So that wasn't enough. 7.6, 7.5. We need 6.5, but we're gonna do this first. We're gonna put our nutrients in here and then we'll check the pH level, all right? So let's get our feeding charts together. And here's a discrepancy we may have. 
Look at this. Now, on the back of these bottles here, there's a feeding chart. Okay? Look closely. That's the feeding chart. You need to follow the rules on there, right? But if you go to your local hydroponic store and ask for a feeding schedule, for any one of your nutrient makers, they usually have a feeding schedule, an updated feeding schedule, or a chart. Since I'm using General Hydroponics, this is a General Hydroponics feeding chart, a uh, recirculating program, and then this drain to waste program. In our stages of cherry pie, we're in the early bloom stages, right here. Early bloom stages. I'm gonna throw this up on the screen so you guys can see it. So I'm in the early bloom stages here, and um, Blue Dream is in the early, no, the late growth stages. So Blue Dream is in the late growth stages and Cherry Pie is in the early bloom stages. So I have to use three and I have to use five. If you look at the chart, three and five is what I'm using. Today, we are going to feed Blue Dream, but it's no different than feeding Cherry Pie with a couple of milliliters short here and here. Now, the discrepancy on the old feeding schedule says that, okay, for instance, the early seeding stage is one to one to one, right? The early seeding stage on here is two to one to one. So there's a slight difference. There's a slight upgrade that's going on with this new chart versus the old chart. If you wanna go with less is more, then you should stick with this chart here. So what you need is we need some Flora Micro, Flora Bloom, and Flora Grow. All right, and the first thing you're gonna use is your Flora Micro. For the Blue Dream, in the late stages, it's five milliliters. Five milliliters. Inside. Okay, clean it out. Okay, now you wanna shake this up too. Without spilling it all over yourself, like I just did. <laughs> shake it up, five milliliters of Flora Grow. Shake that bad boy up. Okay. Five milliliters. See it? It's gonna be quick. Pop it in there. Rinse it out. Shake this up. Now we need the Flora Bloom, which is causing for 2.5 milliliters. Okay. So this is two and a half mLs. Now, see? The third line before the three. Drop that bad boy up in here. Now, it's, re it's requiring 2.5 milliliters of rapid start. Boom. 2.5 milliliters. This is for your roots. Okay? Now, don't forget, we got to check our pH when we finish the noose. That's the most important thing we should do. Once you finish putting your nutrients in there, check your pH level. Check your PPMs. All right? Now, right now, my regular water PPMs is at 77 now we gotta do one milliliter of this. Now if you shake this up, it's very black, but if you shake it up, you have to shake it up to activate it, um, but it's very black. You'll see what I mean. You can make a mess, see how black it's looking now because it's the wetness from the top from shaking it. And you need one milliliter of this. This whole syringe goes into here. I don't think I shook homeboy up, but it's okay. It's just rapid. Okay, so we are here and it's one milliliter of this stuff. Now watch how this turns the tea. Right, now you wanna, this stuff is thick and black, so you wanna rinse your syringe off, but just make sure you put the top back on instead of this spills, boy. It's, woo, mm mm. No siree Bob. Put your top back on this, okay? Now we're about to check out the PPMs first. All right? She's at zero. She's green. Now you can get this on Amazon. I think it's like, what, like $23 or something like that. All right, so our PPMs are sitting at 702. That's cool. 702, all right? When we pee down it, it was like 7.7, 7, right? So let's see what we got now. 6.6. .6. Now, I would take it to 6.5, but 6, whoop, whoop, it went to 6.5 on its own. 
Now, see how I started from 7.7? .7? I put my nutrients in there, and it dropped it down to 6.5. Now, mind you, when I first started, it was like 8.3. So I dropped some pH down in there, and then got to 7.7. .7. So I said, let me stop, put the nutrients in here, and then we'll check the pH level. And it's exactly 6.5. Let's go feed the plants. Here we are. We have to feed these bad boys, you know, especially the clones. So with these guys, I just give them very little water, just like that. That's it. Little guys here, get a little bit of water. Go around the edges, hit it. Don't try not to get too much on the, on the side of it. These guys get a little bit more water. You know, they get a little bit. But see, not so much when they start doing that. Nebulous. Good trip, man. Here we are with cherry pie. She has some yellowing this morning. You know, you see the little leaves here. Looks kind of funny, you know. Some deficiencies going on down in here. But they say it's usually happening after flower. I mean, during flower. These guys wasn't like this yesterday. They just need some nutrients. We're going to give her a good feeding. Give her a good feeding. Let all that soil you'll get wet. And then chill out. Much love to you. Have a wonderful and prosperous day. Stay medicated, elevated, stimulated, and all that good stuff. Peace.